Well, hello, folks. It's Pastor Singer, blue collar preacher, just enjoying a glass of Sunday. Getting ready to go pick up another project. Uh, the black sheep, the transmission's kind of going south on us, so we need to have it rebuilt. I just don't have time. We've been working on a lot of jobs, been doing like four or five jobs at one time. Just been swamped, busy. So we need another rig to just help with the workload. And uh, found one on the Facebook Marketplace here in Wyoming at the El Rancho exit, just on the other north side of Wheatman, Wyoming. We're going to go pick it up, bring it home. El Rancho, Wyoming, just off of I 25 in Wyoming. Here's a little Baptist church out in El Rancho, Wyoming that I attended once. Here's our new pack mule. And I call it the mule. Gonna pack a lot of loads with this thing. Gotta have something to haul material and tools and everything, so it's our pack mule. It's a 95-12 valve. At the five speed, five speed NV45, I'm sure. But uh, we'll pop the hood. It's got the straight front axle. It's a two wheel drive. It's a cabin chassis. So it's got a straight axle front end. It's off the ground, drives like a four wheel drive, but. P-pump, 12 valve, second gen, it's got the, somebody put an aftermarket breather on it, guy we bought it from put a brand new radiator, water pump, uh, wish he probably hoped he did the KDP, but I don't know, It'd be something I'll have to check into myself, I'll call him and ask him if he done it, but he had a few diesel dodges, so who knows, Give her a start up here. P pump don't start like a BE pump, but still starts better than the 24 valves. It's our mule, it's a work truck. Paid for and forty one hundred dollars for it, but eleven foot flat bed, gooseneck ball in the back. in the seat there, but not too bad. Two hundred and sixty-seven thousand seven hundred and fifty-eight miles. Just broke in for a good old twelve hour. Got some rust issues on the door. We'll probably put new doors on it eventually. It's going to be our pack mule for work and to build our place up here. Well, it's time to put the old black sheep to rest for again for a little bit. Uh, transmissions 
going out on it, 360 plus thousand miles. Uh, fourth gear synchro's gone, fifth gear is grinding and whining. Not grinding, but whining. And uh, so we bought the 95 cabin chassis for our work truck. Didn't really want to use the black sheep for a work truck. So we tucked him here underneath the barn for now. And I'm um, gonna get the transmission remanufactured, they say. They totally rebuilt it. Uh, so it's gonna be a bit for that, but uh, in the meantime, we put it in the barn. Uh, it's getting bird crap on it and everything, but it's better than hail. So we don't want no hail damage. Good old truck, I'll come out and fire him up once in a while, keep the oil circulated, but uh, anyways, uh, it's no more a work truck, folks. Uh, it's going to be a show truck again someday. Uh, I've already had it in three different car shows before I had to put him back to work, but uh, anyways, right now, uh, tucked away full of materials for our house. Uh, last job it did, it picked up a bunch of old doors from an old house that we're going to use on our new house. So, anyways, uh, time to put him up. Now I'm going to give you a kind of a little uh, video on how well this thing did me through the years. We've had him since 1994. It's a 93. And uh, did a lot of work. I mean, 23,000 miles when we bought it. We're up to 360,000 now after we put them miles on it. But it served me well. And uh, it's kind of like that old horse that you just put away until you need it again. But uh, anyways, uh, good old truck. We are Wyoming bound. Got the wise truck on top of the black sheep and we're headed to Wyoming. This is the proper way to move over 500 miles. We got everything strapped down. We got uh, five crates all built, filled up to the brims. Two tie downs per box. Well, per pair of boxes and one on the back here. Got my little table and my board cart on there. Got it wired and secured so it don't jiggle around. But uh, got most of the shop. Pretty much just got my hood left and a few other things, but that's next trip. It's almost cleaned out. But yeah, this is how you properly move across the country better than just putting sideboards and tarps on uh, you don't have to worry about everything it's all secured inside and uh, makes it a lot easier to move
Okay, we just picked up this 82 GMC Dually Crew Cab Single Two Wheel Drive. I'm sorry. Gonna slam her down to the ground. We're in Gearing, Nebraska. We're in Gearing, Nebraska. Going hard. really coming down out there working on my cousin's house pouring so hard it's overflowing the drains on the drain spout coming over the top again 